Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer, and today I'm bringing you FSX with the add-on of FS Passengers. Now, FSX uh, has obviously been out a long time. This is the Steam Edition. Let's continue that. This is the Steam Edition, and this is the Cessna 172 Skyhawk. And um, what we're going to do, FS Passengers, is an add-on that uh, makes a bit, a bit more realism. We get to create our own company, which we're going to see here now. Um, I'm just going to delete this company that was here. That's fine, and the pilot went. We're going to create a new company. Uh, call it the same name. Basically, I was just giving it a bit of a trial run. I haven't played this in a very long time. Um, had a quick fly there to make sure I remember how to fly a plane. Because, to be honest with you, I have no idea. Um, we need a, a thing here, so. IFF. Uh, so yeah, like I said, this brings a little bit more realism to it. As you can see here now, this is our company. Uh, you can start off with a ridiculous amount of money. Uh, planes are not cheap. <laughs> uh, but what we're going to do, we're going to start with 3 million, uh, which is fairly hard. We're going to do our career mode and uh, fix failure settings, which 5% of our flights can fail. We're going to create our company and we need to create a new pilot. Which me. We can have our birthday. can be... Christmas Day, we want to be fairly young. I don't, how long how young can you be to fly a plane? Uh, 2019. There we go. So we go back into Company Manager and we want to buy the current plane we have now. We have a couple of options that some have ridiculous amount of hours which are cheap. Um, but I think we're going to hit the middle of the road here. I think this is the kind of best one. And we're going to close that manager. Now the other thing with FSS, what, what this will now do is that we can only really fly these small planes. We have to get hours, get all the hours together to fly bigger ones, better ones, twin engines, more passengers. Uh, there's a lot that we have to do. Now as well as that, we get penalized if we do things wrong. So I have to do things like a real pilot. Now like I said, I'm not a pilot. I do miss things. We do get penalized. I forget flaps or lights or something silly. Um, but look, let's load our flight. What we're going to do today is uh, a very small flight. We can only take two passengers in this small little plane, but we can take quite a bit of luggage and we can reduce that fuel. Uh, that'll do. Type of flight, we're going to have a normal flight. And we're going to set our destination with the key. T-I-S key. Sligo. Destination set. Uh, all that is good. Real time load, we can do that. And I'll explain where we are. Currently, we're in. Uh, Connacht, Ho uh, Connacht Hotel, Connacht um, Airport. Here it is, very small airport here on the west of Ireland. Actually known as Knock Airport to most of us. We, that's how we would know this. Uh, so we're going from Knock to Sligo, which is actually a very, very small flight. It should be about 10 15 minutes. Uh, I'll show you as we get up in the air, really. Uh, I kind of just want to get us up there because the episode can go on for quite a bit. So we need to oh, unpause the game. Um, there we go, shift D. There you go, plane doors opening. And while they're loading, look, we've got a two minute load time now. So while they're loading, we're going to get our plane going. Master ship uh, switch on, avionics, we need our fuel pump on. Might as well fire our taxi lights on. Pilot heat. Uh, we don't need the panel lights, we're okay. And let's get both our engines on. <laughs> and there you go, revs are coming up nicely. Take the throttle off because I left the throttle on. Okay, so we're just kind of waiting. In the meantime, uh, we need to get air traffic control, and we're going to tune into the ground. Connacht ground, India, Alpha Foxtrot one four, IFR to Sligo, ready to come. India, Alpha Foxtrot one four, clear to Sligo Airport, S file. Fly runway heading, climb and maintain three thousand. Departure frequency is one three two point one five. Okay, so we can acknowledge our IRF. Here we are, 3000. We can now ask for our taxi. Okay, 
Okay, so we can acknowledge our taxi clearance. We can turn on the progressive taxi now. That will give us our lines going out to the runway. And five seconds to go, and we can shut our door, and we can get in the air. Okay, so with this, I said there is a bit more realism to it, that we have our passengers, and we have to keep them happy. They've got the satisfaction up here. Uh, if we go into bad weather, if we do anything silly, you know, drop too fast or anything like that, bad landings, this all goes down. And this is what penalizes us. Uh, so, seatbelt's on. <clears throat> We're going to release our parking brakes. And I'm going to ask for my pushback. There we go, we're going to start getting pushed back here now. And I'll wait for us to get all the way up there. And then we'll go head on to that runway. <clears throat> now, this has been out for a little while. I don't know how this is going to do today. Should have been ATS. Uh, but unfortunately, ATS, uh, there was a big update on the game. And uh, all my mods broke. And I'm just kind of waiting for the mods to get repaired before we play again because I don't want to lose all my files. That's what happened with ETS2. But this is why I'm just doing this today. I just, you know, fancy playing it before I share it with you guys. Now, if we do very well, look, there's no reason why why we can't do a little bit more of this. Maybe we can fly up to the north of Ireland, go across to England, maybe travel around Europe a little bit. Okay, we still need a bigger pushback. I thought it was far enough back, but we're not. Uh, so we could head up into Europe. Uh, maybe even America, we might get the bigger planes by then, we might be able to go across the channels into Russia, I don't know. Uh, it's up to you guys if this is worth staying on the channel or not. If it is, leave a comment down below, it's always good to know what you guys are thinking. Okay, so... Get back in the plane. Let's hit some throttle here to get us moving. Once we get down here, I don't know, do I have my taxi lights on? I did put them on, didn't I? Yeah, taxi lights are on. Um, <clears throat> I said you get penalized for all these silly things and you lose a lot of points, it is tough. And for our little company being so small, we need best bonus points as we can get, really. Um, level up into the next planes and so on and so forth but it's very important that I try and do this properly okay so we're at the end of the runway I'm going to hold short and we're going to contact ATS again I'm going to check my flaps which I'm going to do now we're going to put two notches of flaps on uh, bring up ATC tune into the tower and very quickly just going to change our lights here. We don't need to taxi, but we need the other ones on now. Fuel pump can go off. Uh, fuel flow is very low there. I think it's because we're idling. Um, flaps didn't kick in. There you go. Two notches of flaps at 20 degrees. Uh, S. Request takeoff. Okay, so we've got clearance to take off. I think we have everything we need. So we're going to do a roll in take off. I don't think there's a need for us to stop. I should be able to get us around this nicely, get us nice and level. And we're going to hit the speed. Okay, so get ourselves straight. And 50% speed. Hold us steady. The wind is blowing. Full speed. We should be able to get off the air at about 60 knots. Didn't take us that much to do that. We should get a nice easy <coughs> takeoff here, positive rate of climb. Okay, we're at 60 knots now. We're gonna let it just go up to 70. So we say V1 and we can rotate. Off we go. There we go, we're off the ground. We're on a positive climb. Okay, so what I am going to do, I'm going to kick in the autopilot to bring us up nicely. For some reason the autopilot doesn't want to kick in. There we go. The autopilot's kicked in now. 
mainly because we're going to be changing our headings and stuff fairly, fairly soon. Uh, we're just waiting for the tower now to give us our next directions for our headings. I just haven't had anything back. Now we might actually come into landing at night. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is just bring up our GPS there quickly. I'm going to show you where we're going. Oh, hang on. Hold that port. <coughs> okay, we're going to hand off here now. Okay, so we can put our heading on. Thanks, you know, a nice smooth turn over now for our passengers. So we're going to get our headings now. Uh, heading 060. Still going to climb to 3000. Spec vectors, visual runway 29 approach. So we're going to do a visual approach to the runway. So we're going to eyeball it coming in. Uh, nothing wrong with that. We're still climbing. We still have another. We're only about halfway up into our climb. It might be a night landing in Sligo by the time we get there. I'm oh, sorry, we didn't acknowledge. Turn right heading 060, climb and maintain 3000. Expect vectors visual, runway 29 er approach. India, Alpha Foxtrot 14. Right. Uh, I don't think they're going to ask me to turn for a few minutes. So let's have a look at our GPS of where we're actually going. So this is where we come from. This is Knock Airport. Uh, we're going to head out here. It's probably going to bring us out here somewhere. I'd say this will be the path we'll take. Get the vectors in. We should get a nice visual approach. It's a calm day. Well, calm evening. It might be night time. Straight into Sligo Airport. Very short flight. ET, uh, 23 minutes. Now that will go down. Once we kind of hit our cruising altitude, we will pick up some speed. Uh, so this is a very short flight, like I said, it's just to kind of put it on the channel to see what you guys think, if it's worth playing or not. Um, I've seen that there's not that many people actually playing this anymore, it is a very old game. Uh, but it's still enjoyable, I find it quite fun. Yeah, we don't have to worry about that, that's other traffic in the air. Okay, so look, we'll minimise this, we don't need this too much right now. Put it up there. Now, once we kind of reach our positive climb, uh, we still have quite a bit to go actually, wow. We're quite a heavy plane, even though I've reduced the, f the fuel, we're, we're a full load between the luggage. Uh, so what can we see out the windows? There you go, there's the airport we just took off from. Still climbing nicely. Uh, we're going to check all our pressures and stuff, we'll get to that now in a minute. Uh, not going as fast as I thought we'd be going because I still have the flaps on which is a big issue, so I don't know if that's going to cost us with uh, the passengers. <laughs> uh, we'll see in a minute. I've got to bring up the flaps. <laughs> I said I'm not perfect at this game, at all. Okay, so we're now climbing at a lot more positive rate, speed's picking up. Okay, so look, let's have a quick look at what we need to get during the flight. Oil pressure, it's important to keep an eye on this, temperatures, um, we'll flow that all go down, EGR, fuel. Okay, um, this is our heading indicator, obviously this is still our positive rate of climb, VOR, we're not going to use that this time. Uh, this is our rev counter, we're doing alright, this is giving us how many hours that's 
couple of odd hours in the sky. Uh, but yeah, everything's looking pretty good. Everything's looking pretty good. Uh, we don't overstress these planes, uh, they're very small. Um, so once we kind of get to our cruising altitude, which we are, we're levering off now, we're going to start picking up some serious speed. Uh, around 110, 100 knots, that is more than enough. Yeah, they want us to turn right, 090. They're going to come back to me now because I wasn't quick enough. Uh, yeah. Okay, just knock off the speed a little bit. Look, as I said, about 100 is actually a good speed for us. Yeah, we can bring our GPS back here for a second. But look, it's really going to bring us away and probably bring us out this way. There we go. Making us turn back on the path we were on. Zero six zero. So this is where we're going. We're heading this way. I'd say we're going to come all the way up here, and then we're going to come in this side into Sligo. Don't know how far past we have to go, but <coughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. Now I will keep this flight on the whole way. Um, normally I wouldn't do that, but it's a very short flight, and it's our first one here on the episode. Um, but if we do do any other ones that are maybe a bit longer, what I will do is I'll fast forward them with some nice backing music uh, to really speed them up, unless things drastically happen. Uh, now the main things that can happen, obviously engine failures and stuff like that. I've had all my instruments go down. Uh, I've had all kinds of funny oil pressures go wrong. Uh, emergency landings, they can be quite fun, makes it entertaining. I'm sure we're going to get a couple of them. Um, but this plane is fairly new, well serviced, we should be okay. There we go, this is the west of Ireland. Uh, Heading up towards Sligo. Might go up to Donegal, might go to a smaller airport after this, then head across to Northern Ireland somewhere before we head over to Scotland. And like I said, we'll head off into Europe if you guys want. If you don't, this might be the only episode we do. Uh, again, that's fine with me. It's kind of up to you guys. I'll just bring something else. Like I said, I couldn't do ATS today. Uh, with all the updates and the mods and stuff, I'm waiting for all my skins and stuff to be updated. Uh, as soon as they're done, uh, we'll be back on track. I know it's the first week of the schedule that I was actually going to stick to. I've already fallen into problems, but look, these things happen. Fortunately, all my mods broke and... Uh, I did this on ETS 2 and I lost my save and we've had to start again on that and I don't want to do it to my ATS as well. Um, so we put quite a few hours into it. So it should all be back on track and I'll try and get that episode together for Saturday or Sunday because they're the days that I left free for other things. So that's what we'll probably do. Okay, so it says we're about nine minutes to our ETA, so look, we're not that far. Nice and quiet in the sky. Nice evening here on the west coast of Ireland. Unfortunately, it's not as nice out there as it is here. And we have a storm due today here in Ireland. It's going to be pretty rough. Um, it's lovely out here now <laughs> on the game. Wish it was like that for real. Uh, we are in winter. That's why the ground looks so kind of brown and horrible. Usually it'd be nice and green if we're going through in the summer. But I've kept it to where we actually are now. We're here in winter, so I thought we might as well have it on winter. Uh, I, had, I had it on random, so I didn't know what we were going to get when it came to the weather. Foggy days can be pretty tough with the landings with these Cessnas because uh, trying to visually approach uh, an airport that you can't see because of the fog until you're about two miles out is pretty tough.
<clears throat> we're coming into our kind of final approaches, I suppose, nearly now. Corner. Uh, we'll make that nice and small down here. Turn left heading 015, which we've done. That's why we made it a bit bigger. Uh, so we are coming into our approach now. We are seven minutes away from landing. Uh, we are lining up now, I'd say, with the airport. We might be able to see. Uh, there you go. Can you see the flashing lights just over here? This is where we're going to be coming into, I assume. Now, I don't know how much this is going to give me before it handles me off. Uh, hopefully it'll get me fairly straight. I'm sure we'll soon find out. It'll be too long now before we hear. We should be coming in now on the vectors. It's been quite a nice little flight actually, it's not been too bad, nothing too stressful, passengers are happy, hopefully we can finish this now with a nice landing, get some decent points. Uh, the runway is coming in, I don't know, do we have to go, we might have to go in and around this way, or are we coming in? I oh, know, you can see the red dots now, we're going to come in this way, so soon, very very soon, we should be making a left turn. Quick little check over everything now before we start thinking about landing. Pressures are good, temperatures are good, fuel pressure's good, fuel's okay, speed's been good. Um, yeah, everything's actually been fairly straightforward. Yeah, Alpha Foxtrot 1 more turn left, heading 315. 315, big left turn now. There we go, just acknowledge that. Left, heading 315. Alpha Foxtrot 1-4 Okay, so it's bringing us in nicely for this Sorry the video has been a bit long I didn't plan for it to be this long I thought it would actually be a shorter flight than it is uh, So we're just going to do quickly go into F10 mode here uh, We're going to put on our lights off the heat and uh, we're going to be thinking about landing lights very very soon, flaps, all that other kind of stuff. Okay, let's go back out here. Quick look outside. Yeah, look. They're nicely waiting for us. Uh, I'm just going to bring that GPS back. Now, I can't actually use the quick button for the GPS if any of you write down in the comments down below. It's actually connected to the same button that I record on. Uh, so if I bring up the quick button, it'll turn off the recording. I have to change the buttons around, I only realised uh, a minute ago. Uh, so there, that will be happening. Okay, I'm just going to take a bit of speed off that. Because we will be descending, I'm sure, now very, very soon. <coughs> Okay, once we head 285, we have runway in sight, which it is. Turn left, heading 285, India, Dolphin Box Drive 14. <coughs> uh, I could have put all this on and we could have matched it up. Acknowledge our clearance. We're only eight miles out. We're going to take the speed off because now we're descending, we're going to pick up some pretty big speed here. Uh, I think what we will do as well, and on our landing lights. 
and maybe even hit our first notch of flaps. <clears throat> Got the speed just under 50. Been into Sligo Tower. Sligo Tower, India, Alpha Fox Trot, 14, is 8 miles east. Inbound visual, runway 2, Niner, approach. India, Alpha Fox Trot, 14, Sligo Tower, place straight in, runway 2, Niner. Altimeter, 2, Niner, Niner 2. Place straight in, runway 2, Niner. India, Alpha Fox Trot, 14. Okay, so we're allowed to fly straight in. And I am hitting under 2000 now. All I want is the UPS at 27 miles, we're 6 miles out, um, I think we're going to take control of the plane, disengage the autopilot, if they were coming in nice and square to it, I'm going to keep, try and keep the speed low as we can, I'm going to try and drop off a bit more of the altitude, don't want to go too crazy. Still five miles out. We could probably hit a second flaps. Really gonna slow us down. to land <clears throat> a little bit more speed we're off the glide path the, the lights haven't changed white uh, we're still four miles out don't know how straight we are to anything it's pretty hard to tell until we get a bit closer so we need to move just a little bit Try and straighten ourselves up a little bit to those white lights. Little corrections, we don't be going too crazy now. We're on our final approach, we've been asked to come straight in. I don't know how long the, ro uh, the runway is. Um, I'd say it'd be a fairly decent size. I don't think that's really going to be a problem with this little plane. We can pretty much stop as soon as we land. Uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good here. I think uh, might be a little low. That's okay as well. Again, just going to try and line ourselves up just a little bit better. Perfect, that's for sure. The low. Two miles to go. Wind's a bit shaky. There we go, I think we've uh, corrected it quite nicely. I think we have some good speed. We can probably go full flaps now if we want. Too much more altitude here. <clears throat> Go our speed a little bit. We're going 
got one light on the, the glide path miles off it. There you go, got two lights. Cut the speed a lot more now. They're coming in, 200 feet. Try and get it in between the two markers. Off a little bit and there we go, we're in. Okay, so we're going to come off the next taxiway. Okay, so what we do have to do now is just uh, There we go. We have our taxi. I don't think we're going to need them now. We made our first flight here, 100% satisfaction. I don't know, did I miss anything? We'll find out with the penalties in a minute. Uh, but here we are, Sligo Airport. Nice little airport. We're going to be parking right out the door, uh, which is good. And we are. Yeah. Okay, parking brakes are on. And uh, F10 here now. Uh, we have retracted these before. Um, we're going to turn off all engines. There we go. And we don't have the door open again now. Yep, main exit is opening. We've got 30 seconds to let them guys get off. Done that, we did it. There we go, our very, very first flight. That's where we will leave this episode here. Uh, if you are enjoying this content, please subscribe down below to the channel. Hit that bell icon, I know I upload it every single day. If you are enjoying this FS Passengers, please let me know in the comments down below if we would like to see more of this or where we should go next. Uh, make sure you hit that like button. And other than that for myself, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.